You're very welcome back. You're watching the Daily Rundown with me, Fiona Fox. So I've been joined by the fabulous Blaney, uh, aka Ed and Jim. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, thanks first of all so much for coming in. I know you're busy. You've just finished your album, uh, so you've got a bit of work going on that, don't you? So tell us, how, well, how did Blaney kind of, how did this all come about? Do you want to give us a bit of background, Ed? Um, uh, originally we were called Trigger You've been doing it for a little while, haven't you? A little, a little couple while. Of, <laughs> a couple of months. A few years, <laughs> yeah. Um, originally it was called Trigger Apper. Yeah. Then we had an issue with the TV programme. Your man at so the big phone. Went out as Ed Blaney, and then there was a guy who won uh, Stars in Your Eyes as Ed Blaney as a bow impersonator. And uh, this time we had a chat and we said, you know, we'll just go out as Blaney. Go with Blaney. So that's, that David Bowie impersonator is not you. We should Definitely not. Yeah, do, don't phone for bookings. And don't phone for, and we're not, yeah. we're not doing any Bowie numbers here this evening. Definitely either, no, no covers. <laughs> so that's clear. Um, so are you one of the quotes, I because I, when I was looking up, you know, I was doing a bit of Google before I came in, I was looking about like, the album and that. Um, that this how proud you are to be a Salford man and you see there's a lot of Salford in your album isn't there there is just, yeah what, what does that mean though to say that the album is very Salford what does that mean well it is it's like there's a big difference even though we're next door to Manchester yeah if you're a Salfordian yeah very you're, proud it's a different thing uh, obviously a lot of my mates are Manx and you know we get tired with that and we're, we're very proud and it's hard <laughs> <laughs> it's like the river Irwell circles Salford the story has it that when the Romans invaded, they took one look over the river into Salford and they said, you know what, we'll stay here, we'll camp here. And Leave them to a kind of thing. Now we camp, camp Street, yeah. That's where Castlefield sprang up from. Yeah. yeah. And this is, where, is, is that true, is it? Is Apparently it? so, yeah. But, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it means a lot to me, Salford. I grew up there, all yeah. my kids and my friends and family. And, yeah, so yeah. if you if you say your album's very self though, what do you think kind of encompasses the just like uh, what, would you say a bit of attitude or yeah urban nature right. so it, that's which is, fact, like, which is a brilliant title brilliantly titled yeah it, it's all like gritty in the album isn't it it's it's, it's, it's yeah. written in Salford. I think, it, I think it shows more Salford as a a cultural place so it's not it's not all. It's no, it's not. There's no like guns in that. It looks a bit. Yeah. Yeah. People have said it looks a bit like hip hop rap and that, which it, you know. It's not. The I album's think, definitely think it not. It's pretty. It's Salford. It's urban and, yeah. Well, I was going to say, you've got that nice paradox nature. in the title anyway, don't yeah. you, Urban Nature? So you, yeah. I guess, yeah, you've got a kind of few things coming together on that, which you've, um, you've put, you're putting across. We like, never had gardens when we grew up. <laughs> we had, like, concrete. It was all concrete yards. Much, and, yeah. and where there was grass, we, we'd camp out on <laughs> on the weekend. Brilliant. So you guys together, how long, is it, how long are you actually together? As a couple. Like, <laughs> no, um, mates for... 20 odd years we've worked together, we've been in bands and toured all over the world. And the music thing then as well, that, that, that's, yeah. on, that's, well, that's, that's the only reason we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> do you write together as well and that, sorry, how does do, that work? Do we write together? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean... Th how, this, does, how does that work out when you already have an established relationship, you know, do you fall out when you tell someone No, we don't work, really. We, we, we fell out, out, but not over... Yeah, not over yeah, songwriting. Never over songwriting, song no. That's kind of maintaining the status quo for you then, is it? That's the... That's the yeah. Yeah, like this album, we, um, we we do things a lot differently than traditional bands. And um, Jim gets me and I get him. And we've, we've done stuff when we first started on like a four track and uh, it worked. Everything we've always done has always worked. And on this album, we rented a cottage in Holmforth and we took the studio there and set it all up and it, it just worked for a wow. week. And we had a week off or two weeks and then we hired it again. <laughs> we won it on eBay. And went back again for the week, yeah. and it was great, and mixed it, yeah. So you just you hold up in this place, the two of you, and just yeah, it's, went it's, We invited everyone, said, look, there's no lifts, here's the address, whoever makes it gets on the album, and so everyone who made it there. That, this, I imagine this is an unusual approach to recording an yeah. album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, 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 but it's not it, the standard, it, or is that? It, well, it was really, well, we had it's very some of the tracks we'd, we'd lay down, um, and we never got round to coming back to him, and it, it, it was more inspiration, wasn't it? Got to the, go to the cottage, getting out of Salford. Just <laughs> so getting a bit of perspective, isn't it? And it was right on the top of a hill, so it was like, yeah, who turns it to go to the shop? 
Yeah, yeah Last of the Summer Wine it oh, was yeah. filmed at the bottom of it, but it was up a really steep bill. It's quite intense, though, isn't it? Putting yourself in that situation, you know, just and, and you know, as artists and all, I'm that you've not got tempers kind of frame there, or he's going to say, well, no, what you've written. No, there. you know, when it's time to go, you say, you know what, we've, we're done here. We're done. Let's, let's look for a barn or something. Oh, I, th yeah. I think because we put down a, a lot of tracks earlier so we, we, we knew we had to dig in and there was loads of work to do to bring all the elements together uh, so it sort of made it easier though because it was out, out of we wanted in a studio set in that nice cottage yeah studios are boring this is what i was going to say how does it all kind of compare to actually um gigging then though would you prefer i mean recording obviously you're, you're, you're you've got that lovely finished product at the end we did this that's what those two weeks <laughs> were and then well, how does that compare to it's the actually the sounding sounding better live it, which is it's a great album yeah. and the reviews are fantastic yeah, you're getting brilliant reviews I haven't though, paid anyone doing. you know yeah. I'm surprised they're all genuine so that's yeah. a disclaimer and um, we've done about five gigs so far on this album and it's just been great and we're feeling it you know and it's well how does it compare from like do you prefer do you prefer a gig and I imagine do you to recording or yeah I, I enjoy playing I enjoy recording as well but it, it, gigging's You've, you've got more of a traditional framework to go into, so you're not like when you're doing recording, you, you need the inspiration, you need to do things differently to make it sound different. But when you're doing gigs, you, it's more on rails and you and, turn and up like and play the gig. Like that very natural and organic, I imagine you're kind of bouncing off the atmosphere of the gig as well, aren't you? Yeah. Like you can draw and all that, so I imagine it's amazing. Um, so you've got some interesting collaborations on as well, don't you? Some family on there as well? Yeah, yeah, Tell yeah. Um, my daughter Bianca's on there. So she's following in the footsteps? She is, she's had it since she was a kid. In but I never get involved. I've, all, I've never, you know, been one of these parents that push her and you got, you know, she's always done it herself. And uh, it just happened and I said, look kid, you want to sing on this track? And she went, yeah, she just turned up and just nailed it. And she's been out with us live and it's been incredible. It's been, and it's not like though? father and daughter, it's, she's, she's my mate. You know, all my kids are just like mates, they're all grown up. So you, you know. see them as an equal in such, in so far oh, as artists yeah. or musicians as well. What, yeah. what, 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 what does it feel like though to be on a stage with your daughter and She's you know, songs you've written and oh, it, it, written. it's great. Yeah. But I mean, I, I've no room left for, to put the pride is that much. You know, it's overflowing. So yeah. and it's just natural. She's a buzz on the road. You know, we're on a tour bus. You bring so you bring her around and everything. Oh so. yeah, yeah. And my, my son took the photo of the album. So it's very much a very family, family thing. Very family affair, isn't it? Well, yeah. You're all and very hard. Jim's knows all my kids. Yeah. They've all grown up. So you're. Like, you're I, I mean, lived in the same street. Grown up. Yeah, yeah. This must be that must be an amazing dynamic to go around with though, to, and to kind of be starting on that like that. Yeah, it's, like, and the, the reaction's been fantastic. Yeah, so I mean, you're having rave reviews, and um, we're going to hear something from Urban Nature now in a second. Uh, but tell us, because we don't have loads of time, you're going to play us into the break. So I want to get all the info before we go. Where can people find out more information about Blaney? It's uh, Blaney.co, the website, and on Twitter it's BlaneyCo. You're following, yeah, and I think I've actually put that up because I put it into... And FaceTube, as I call it. FaceTube, it, that's it's, a, uh, very dark. <laughs> find me or find Jim or Rick or Yoda or Bianca or Jenny. do a bit of a search. But you won't find... Salford Music Festival as well, you're, you're very closely associated, <laughs> yeah. aren't you? just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit, but of Salford lads. Um, any gigs coming up soon? We're playing, next one is, uh, we're headlining um, Livam and St Anne's Music and Arts Festival. Brilliant. 29th of July and there's something being announced next week for Scotland and with UK tour September, October and we'll play Manchester as well. Brilliant, excellent. Well, we look forward to that. Ed. So tell us, what's this track called? This is from... This is uh, High On You. High On You, it's High called. On You. Uh, on so the, thank you so much for coming in, Jim. Thank and you. Uh, the very best of luck with everything. We'll see you in here again soon. This is High On You from the fabulous new album Urban Nature. Get out and get that now. See you 